So a lot of new templates have been added to interfaces from Zapier. Let's see what they can do. We got new chatbot templates, data management templates, project management templates, marketing campaign templates, and so much more. Let's go and jump in today's video. Let's explore some of these, see what's happening and all the new updates when it comes to interfaces. Welcome back to Corbin AI, y'all. We're gonna be checking out interfaces again. We've been doing a lot of videos here on Corbin AI when it comes to interfaces, but what I thought was cool, they probably pushed this out a lot earlier and I just noticed it right now, is that there is a ton of templates that are now available when it comes to interfaces in Zapier. So I wanted to play around with a couple of these in today's video and see what they can do. Cause some of them look really like really cool. And I can kind of see the direction they're going with the potential. Like one right off the bat that I see that was like, okay, this is really cool is the simple online course as alternatively than paying like something like Kajabi, like $200 a month, building out an entire course structure using interfaces could be a very attractive proposal. Obviously we'd probably need a little bit more features but something like that is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and just play around with some of these and see the potential and jump in. As you know, it's holiday season, so we gotta be wearing our Christmas sweater. The next couple videos that you see on this channel will have this Christmas sweater. I'm shooting another stockpile of like seven videos in one day because I'm traveling for the holidays again just to see my family. But let's go ahead and jump in today. We're gonna go ahead and just start off by checking out these different interfaces that are available here. Now, there seems to be a common theme in the chatbot section where basically they specialize chatbots to do very specific things. I also noticed that some of the UI seems to be different comparative to other uh, chatbots here. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit more, y'all. Let's just go ahead and see if we can just kind of like pick which one looks the coolest here. So content repurposing chatbot. That's already got my guy, dad joke chatbot. That seems pretty cool. Communication pros. Blog generator, bedtime story. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and choose the one that is supposedly a content repurposing chatbot, as there is a lot of value there in a bunch of different plethoras when it comes to software. So they kind of already tapped into this, supposedly. And let's see what we can do here. So we got content repurposing bot here. Repurpose content like a pro and boost your brand visibility with AI chatbot developed by Mark Mike Cardano or Con. Cardano, Cardana. I'm sorry if I butchered that. Uh, Cardano reminds me of that crypto. Well, quite literally is that crypto. So let's go and check this out. So in order to kind of play around the interfaces, obviously we can go and check this out. The bot has a whole new UI. So if you want to see actually the new UI for developing bots, you can check out that video. For now though, we're going to go and just click the link. This is what allows us to play around with the interfaces here. And it's going to proceed here. All right, we got the sawdust concept coined by Jack Butcher is about sharing the byproduct of your work to build trust with your audience and drive sales. As an expert of digital marketing, I'm here to leverage, help you leverage your own sawdust by generating ideas of how you can repurpose and sell valuable assets. To get started, could you please share your role and target audience? All right, so we're going to say role is content creator, audience is people interested in AI. So it's interesting how it's basically this one specifically takes the role of a specific concept. I'm going to go ahead and make myself small. You also really small. <laughs> All right. Isn't this what's cool? All right. So also, by the way, I get a lot, a lot of this in my comments. The software I use so I can just do crazy stuff like this is OBS. Really side fast tangent. OBS is meant for, or most people use it for streaming. What I've realized is that this is a great recording software because it's free and you can just do crazy stuff like this. I could add way more effects. I just like keeping myself minimalistic here, but that's the software. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and save one. All right, proceed here, Sawdust Bot. Whoa, okay, okay. This is cool, y'all. So first thing I just learned, I just learned that these chatbots can do charts. Wait, these chatbots can do charts now. That's really, really cool. Okay. Uh, here are 10 ideas. Title, description, category, estimate time to create value, distribution method, and estimated price. Whoa. All right, so the fact that it gives you time to create as well, that is super cool, y'all. So AI template builds bundle together a set of pre-designed AI templates such as data visualization templates, model evaluation templates, or code templates, enabling AI practitioners to streamline their workflow. All right, that's cool. Let's go ahead and just go with uh, expand on one. 
This is impressive. Um, we are getting more capabilities within Zapier chatbots and interfaces. I did not realize that was a possibility with the chart there. I mean, I'm thinking past just this use case, thinking in the context of if a customer was communicating with a chatbot and your ability to provide charts like this and maybe even visual element elements now really seems like a valuable way to provide, you know, a effective way to communicate. E.g. you have some type of pricing for your product. Now you can kind of do some type of chart like this for that underlying consumer and it's live data and it's by artificial intelligence. Okay, so it kind of expands past that. That's super cool. Let's check out another template. I just realized I look like a strawberry right now because y'all don't see this. I look like a strawberry. I look like a strawberry. Nah, I'm just joking. Okay, so we're gonna go back to Cray here and let's see what I, I'm gonna just choose the ones that kind of just stick out to me as like, cause I've been using interfaces since day one. So I'm gonna choose the ones that kind of like stand out to me like, oh, okay, that looks different. That looks new. All right, so we got invoice form, referral form. Okay, we got we know this lead management, get in touch, newsletter sign up, simple CRM, AI content, AI image generator. So this this that one looks different. AI logo, ooh, AI voice generator. All right, let's try this one. I have not seen this capability in use in the context of interfaces and chatbots. So let's go and see what we can do here. All right, so we're back here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the link here so we can start using this template here. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we got, whoa. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff. Submit the form to generate the audio file with the voice created from your text. Okay. Title, uh, test run, text. Ooh, I just drank an Americano with a fig bar voice now, this is interesting so i'm assuming this is i don't know i don't know if i want to assume here this is actually very interesting how do they do this what's going on here because the only thing i can think of is that they connected it with the api of OpenAI, and they're using specific variable inputs from open ai hold up where is the actions here shows no okay here's this app this is what i was looking for okay let's see what's going on on this app Ooh. okay this is actually interesting y'all all right so it's already pre-connected here Ooh, this is cool okay this is cool this is super cool so we're gonna go ahead and just choose a voice here uh fable i'll put format with we'll mp3 and submit Okay, save file. Oh, they, they are working over there at Zapier. Okay, they are working there. Holy smokes. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so I had to come actually over to the Zap that's supposed to save the file. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now in order to see this like action. So I'm gonna go do this, continue. We're just gonna choose like the uh, folder. They actually wanted me to create a very custom folder. Interesting. I'm gonna let that slide. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just say skip test. And okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and publish this. So we can go ahead and try this again. Skip this test. And I'm gonna go ahead and publish this. Test, I guess you have to test the step. Test the step real quick. And it doesn't like me. Let me go ahead and just test all these steps real quick. All right, let's go ahead and resubmit this form real quick. I'm just gonna say uh, coffee. I wanna say uh, coffee. <laughs> all right, and then let's do echo, mp3, submit. I like how it's live, so it just shows it right away. This should work now because I've actually enabled it. So I didn't save here. Let's see if it shows up in my drive. Also just realized that I didn't have the other zap turned on. So make sure when you create this stuff that the zaps are turned on. That seems like it's necessary for obvious reasons. So let me go ahead and try this again. Okay, both zaps are on. Third test, third test, uh, hashtag third test. Let's see you working that's not how you spell working all right we'll try this voice we'll do mp3 submit all right live boom save see what happens here all right there we go we got download file download the file let's go ahead and listen to it so we're just going to be over the world business right now all right, let's try this let's see you working Ooh, that is creepy run that back 
Let's see you working. What? Yo, are <laughs> Yeah, you know, text to speech is getting way too good, y'all. That's kind of that's crazy. All right, so solid, super solid. Honestly, this is like so intuitive that it makes my mind think that, like, it basically opened like a bunch of doors in my mind of what we can do with interfaces. Super cool, y'all. Let's check out another template. All right, so there is a ton more of these interfaces. There's only one other one I want to check out here because I could see a big use case, at least for me specifically, which is the course builder here. This seems cool because of the fact that right now, a lot of course providers is pretty expensive in the context of having your own hub here. So let's go ahead and see how it structures this. I have to go to the introduction here. All right, so let me go ahead and start with this link up here and kind of proceed. I'll jump over here, y'all. All right, so very simple UI, obviously. Start and let's go from there. All right, so it looks like it's a very simple UI, obviously video, next video, back to homepage. I like this though. And the reason I chose this as the last one I wanted to look at is because of the fact that I like this direction that it's going. And that's specifically for the fact that it's a course uh, structuring, but more in the sense of basically their plan or the intention to interfaces, it's in beta y'all. So there seems to be a lot that this can encompass. Now, I've seen in my comments before, before as well, like building out very simple like dashboards for your internal team, for your internal team to connect. Not so much so of a Slack competitor, but more in the sense of like setting out certain tasks and having some type of organization when it comes to tasks associated with individuals in your team. What's really cool though, is the fact that basically anything that we get the more capabilities of doing when it comes to the context of interfaces, we can go ahead and attach Zapier's entire ecosystem to it. So every single one of those pages that you just saw there in theory could have an attached automation with it, could have an attached XYZ with it, whatever is encompassed with Zapier's ecosystem. I like where Zapier Interfaces is going. I especially like the use case and the showcase of the audio one that seemed very powerful as it really showed you the ability to kind of interconnect its ecosystem at a high level. Also just super creepy here in the voice of artificial intelligence talk. But if you feel like you learned something today, make sure to leave a like, it's completely free. I'm gonna leave a playlist at the end here, just basically jumping into Zapier and all of its apps and different ways we can integrate artificial intelligence with it. I'm gonna be doing a ton more videos on some Zapier videos later this week. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, but I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Corbin AI, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.